Hey, what's going on, everyone? Chuck Self Five here, bringing you another video of my uh, freshly new modified light stick. Um, this is the Xbox 360 TES that I modified. Um, what I did with was did the FG widget board from Toodles, got some other licks. Uh, along with they got the K inserts, LED boards, and six PS 14s. I think they were um, Sumitsu clip buttons, the screwing type. Yeah, I don't play with these buttons, so I only did with six. So eventually, I'm gonna get the new, uh, have the art redone, get the new plexi done with just the six buttons, those, and just probably move these off to the side or something. I don't know. Um, overall, time-wise, it took me about six, seven hours to do it. Reason being, it took me that long because I was making sure all my solder connections were straight, all my connections going to the board, the in and outs were fine and all that so it took me that long. If you're experienced with soldering it'd probably take you at least two hours, hour and a half at the most at least. Um little demo video. I'm gonna walk through all the modes. Um uh, go ahead and plug it in. Real quick, just be patient with me. Sorry for the crappy cell phone video. Alright, it should come on in a second. There it goes. This is screensaver mode. When you first plug in the stick, it'll go through this little chase sequence, which is the screensaver mode. And the way you change the modes is by hitting jab. You hold on jab for 5 to 10 seconds. This button, that button, will come on to indicate that you are in the menu mode. That's menu mode. It'll come on and show you what the current mode is. That's when you press it and it'll fade out. That's what it mode is now. Then you hit forward to change the mode. That's just standard. Then you would hit fierce to save it. So that's just standard. Press the button. They all light up. So jab again to get it in the menu mode to change. So forward. Then you actually invert them by hitting roundhouse to invert. Actually, sorry. So, subtle fade in, and you press it. And forward again. This is the wave. So whatever button I press, it'll go this way, and this one, this way, and this one, that way, and so on, so forth. So that's wave or splash, I guess they call it. And this is knockout. If you play that old game when you were a kid, that little LED board, you push a sequence of buttons to try to knock out all the lights. Um, I've gotten it. Oh, there you go. Got it. <laughs> Next. Uh, I guess a little mini game to play for the board or something, or in between games. I got it here again. So, not that hard to get. So in this cyclone, no matter what button you press, it'll just keep doing that over and over again, which is also your screensaver mode. So then back to the original setting I had it on. So fierce to save. You press it. Let's see. You press the fades in and fades out slowly. So. To invert any of the option modes, hit jab again to hold down to get the menu mode. And fierce to invert. Uh house to save. Whatever option you're in. So you hold those down, A fades out, fades back in. So. Jab again to menu mode. 
yeah, invert. Also to control the dimness of the lights, you would hit jab and short. Jab to increase the maximum brightness and short to decrease the maximum uh, yes uh, I can't even think right now decrease the brightness maximum decrease in brightness so let's see how far I can turn them down I mean, you can go pretty far with them then not justify on camera but if you realize you can see how pretty dim they are then jab to increase brightness. As you can sort of see. So and right now to save. Yeah, it's So again, to if you get the FG with your board and, and you can't remember how to do any of the options. Again, to access menu mode on the FG with your board, you hold Jad down for five to ten seconds. After holding these two buttons, will light up to indicate that you are in the menu mode. Once in the menu mode, you can change the different menus by hitting forward each time. And once you get to the setting that you like, you hit fierce to save, and it'll save the current setting you have. To change that, to flip the the pattern around to invert it, you would hit roundhouse to invert. Then again, fierce to save. To, uh, also, I know, I'm not sure, they have a thing on here called tournament mode. <clears throat> and that way, way that works is before you plug in your controller, you hold all three kicks, you plug it in, and put in, pretty much push the whole board into a, a sleep mode. Then no matter what button you press or how long you hold that jab, uh, none of the buttons will be active. So, you disable the tournament mark. The only way to turn it back on is when you plug in the stick and hold all three punches, and then it does a factory reset which you can just change real quick back to your old settings not that hard about two minute fix but that's pretty much it if you have any questions or on what you need for this mod or how to do the mod I'd be more than happy to help you uh, through it um, I took tons of pictures so I'll put them up on SRK my SRK tag is Trex05 just like my YouTube channel video so uh, hope you enjoy